Hail and well met everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim and I say beautiful and I mean it look at this oh my god today we are looking at Yalmar Manor probably mangled that uh, by Temri Yu and probably mangled that too I apologize for the pronunciation of both we're looking at this place oh my word it's a whole brand new settlement plus a manor house um, I will show you where we are on the map when we get down there but I thought you might just appreciate seeing this overview it is wow there's white run and it's just super gorgeous okay all right so here we are i'll show you where this is on the map uh, there it is there's riverwood there's tundra homestead and white run and the meadury so it's it's dead easy to find just follow the road from riverwood and you will get here and what a lot of effort can you believe it all these years later after the game came out we're still getting such spectacular and big this is huge this mod i mean there's a player home that comes with this which is giant i've already got lost in there like three times so <sighs> look at this there's vendors npcs of various kinds there's a gold mine merchants and the merchant i mean really great effort don't you think merchants just look amazing i would buy from this stall in real life for sure oh my god look at that i don't think i've ever seen a pumpkin cut in half in skyrim where did you get that from that's fab Okay, so there are a million little details that this video is not even going to touch on. I tried to go into one of the player homes earlier and got booted out, literally got told off. Um, let's see if the Emporium's open. I'm not going to go into all of these for obvious reasons. What are do you, you need? Oh, hey, good. What have you got? What do you need? Hmm? Okay, I don't think he is open. I'm not sure what the time is, but... Um... Yeah, he's closed. Okay, what well... Do you need? Oh, shh. Don't tease me like that. <gasps> Love your clock. Would also use in real life. Can I just look at your house while we're here? What a lot of effort, though. You know? Wow. Ooh, okay. I won't steal your stuff. Or... All right. No need to look at me like that. <laughs> Excuse me, people. Dude. Ready? Can I just nip upstairs? Oh, how nice. Yeah, you can... Oh, wow! You can see why I'm not going into all of the places. There is such a lot to see. Oh, my God. I mean, effort. Oh, he's following me around. He's like, I don't trust you, Dark Star. Get out. <laughs> all right. Uh, but you see where I'm going with it. It's it's amazing. <laughs> All right, let's get to the bit that you're probably most interested in, which is the player home, which is through here. Look at that. Again, don't think I've ever seen that statue before. This garden is beautiful. Look at the little tiny fence. Somewhere to have a glass of wine. Ah, uh, you know, I always obsess about the gardens, and I have been, it has been commented on. I have been told off for it. <laughs> but, um, I tend to try, you know, not to take these things to heart. I know we're not always interested in the same things, and that's fair enough. But it floats my boat. So, we've got the wall tower. Wow, how far does this go up? I just want to see the view. Ooh, yeah, spectacular. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my word. And again, there's another level up there. I'm not going to bother with going up to the very top, but you see what it's about. Okay, there's a groundskeeper that comes with this place as well, by the way. Okay, we've got our outdoor forge here. And all the smithing equipment. It is just a plain blacksmith forge, not a sky forge. Which is fine. Who lives in this one? Oh, guard barracks. Oh, by the way, you can also hire barracks for the um, for your place as well if you want to. Um, private guards, 10k. Hmm? Hello, people. Oh, it's you, annoying child. <laughs> Just come to look around your house. 
because I am that nosy. All right, so beautifully decorated everywhere then, and lots of effort gone into it. All right, let's get inside our place and let's get lost because it's going to happen. Oh, look at the gargoyle. Nice details. All right, so you come straight into your majestic hall. Nice bits of artwork, suitable throne, display cases. Oh, I like the mannequins too. The suits of armor. Makes me feel very royal. Ah, God, and this is where it begins. All right. <laughs> There's a lot of um, hallways and whatnot to get used to. I think what I'll probably do is just show you some of the main highlights, like this kitchen, those glorious things that really do look good enough to eat. Oh, my goodness. So oven and cooking pot. Look at that. Even bothered to vent the oven and put things in it. Oh. Oh, this type of experience really tickles me, you know? I love it. I love, love, love it when mod authors just go that extra mile. Pantry. Oh, so cool. Literally. Even in the corridors, bits of deco here and there. Now, let's have a look at the local map. Yeah, see, wow. It's big, isn't it? Loads of rooms, and uh, I don't do well in these kind of environments. So we'll just uh, we'll just see what happens. Oh, lucked into the dining room. God, I hope there are no secret passages. I will never find my way out again. Just check. <laughs> no, the bookcases are cool. This is nice. Very grand. Don't know how many follower rooms there are here. I didn't actually check, but I imagine that there's quite a few. Is that the pantry? Yes, it was. <laughs> okay, let's have a look down here. Into the basement storage area, of which there is plenty of storage. It looks like it's nearly all static, which is great. It's up here. Oh, wow, even more. Good looking chest. Nice, okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh wow, why why haven't I got the key for this? I bought the blinking place. <laughs> Alright, I suppose it's gonna be in the bedroom or somewhere, isn't it? I'm gonna have to go and find it. <laughs> I have no patience for that type of thing though, I must admit. Alright. Let's carry on. In our wanderings. Alright, so followers' quarters, I'm guessing. Library. Oh, look how nice these beds are. Very good looking. Oh, I like it a lot. I don't know where Inigo is at the moment. He seems to have buggered off somewhere. Oh, well, this is lovely. So, what's that three in here? Really pretty decoration. I imagine that there's a bunch more too. Oh yeah, look at this. Different style. This is nice. Nice artwork. I like the screens. Okay, we've got a tower. We'll come back to that. Just want to make sure I haven't missed anything down this corridor. Probably did. No, it looks just like a long corridor that comes upstairs. I only came in here. Wow. I came in here a, a couple of days ago and I was only in here very briefly. So I've got no clue yet as to the layout of the place. Okay, so we've got options. Two ways to get to the outside. What else is in this tower? <laughs> you could put your... Your in-laws in here, couldn't you? Like a granny annex, but for, for the people that you don't want to see every day. Okay, let's have a look at the, the roof. Oh. 
Oh, look how lovely is Skyrim. Ooh, glad, glad I chose that one. Okay, so really the tower is just somewhere else for someone else to hang out. Maybe a guard, say. Possibly. I think there is, uh, there is, there are plans to uh, expand this mod even more. All right, let me see if I can find the way to our bedroom. Ooh, ooh. Did I luck onto it? Is this it? I think it is. Gee. Certainly one of the main bedrooms anyway. Oh, isn't this just lovely? Look at that effort as well with the curtain. Oh, my word. Very nice indeed. Lovely, lovely room. Those, that is so nice, that feature right there. That so reminds me of something that I did in EverQuest 2 with a home that I made in that. <laughs> really, really terrific. Not not blowing my own horn. Uh, this is a completely different kettle of fish. Oh, look at this. Wow. Love all the deco and this. Oh my god. What are we overlooking here then? Oh, the entrance hall. All right, cool. And the second floor. I haven't found the um, alchemy and enchanting yet. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Bookcases. Such nice deco. Oh, and soil. So alchemy around the corner. Neat. Oh, very lovely. And I'm guessing that there's name storage around here. The potions and whatnot. Soils, though. Oh, it doesn't seem to be named. It's just generic. Okay, well, that's all right. We've got plenty of it, that's for sure. And it's really, really nicely done. Oh, I love this whole room, actually. This might be my favourite spot apart from the bedroom. All right, let's carry on. What have we got in here? Okay, storage. Looks like a, a little baby closet, you know, like uh, your dressing place. <laughs> Mannequins, display cases, more decoration. This, like, whole wing seems to belong to you, doesn't it? A little bit dim in here. Bow storage. Curaces. Oh, I see. So this is literally all name storage in here, all broken down by part. Nice. And again, more storage up here. Gosh, this place is giant. I was going to say 55k is a lot of money, but end game. It's really not, is it? Oh, look at that. Wow. This is magical. Love those faces. Like uh, Bacchus or somebody. Very nice. Oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> All right, then. Really nice floor treatment, too. This is really right up my street. Loads of wardrobe space, nice table, all very nicely decorated indeed. And look at the light coming in. Oh, that's fab. Okay, so I haven't read the description to see if there's any vampire quarters or anything like that in here. I suppose I ought to check. Okay, I think we're done on this bit. Okay, well, I think that covers just about all of the main features of this mod. I mean, there's a lot. I don't even know where to point the camera. There's so much beauty in this. I'm thoroughly impressed with it. Love it. Wow, look at that picture. You'll spend a long time exploring this place for sure. Um, it looks like then we've got six follower beds, a 
not sure about kids' quarters, didn't find any, so uh, I don't know about that. Look at that cake with strawberries and chocolate and, oh, wow. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave you with that view. Call that the end of this wee video. Say thank you so much for watching. Do let me know what you think about this one. Uh, I am so grateful to the models for everything that they give to us. It's just fab. All right, take care, stay safe. I'll see you soon for the next.